All right, so in this video lesson, what we're gonna be talking about is how you can divide complex numbers, which really division ends up being a lot like multiplication. The whole point of dividing is to make sure that you don't have any imaginary numbers in your denominator. <clears throat> so in order to do that, we're gonna use something we talked about in section 3.2, where we're gonna actually multiply by the conjugate. If you remember in section 3.2, we found out that multiplying by the conjugate eliminates the imaginary part. And so we'll use that to help us with eliminating the imaginary part from our denominator. So we're gonna look at a few examples. In each example, we're first gonna write what the conjugate of the denominator is, and then use that to simplify our expression. So on number one, we've got three over two i. The conjugate of two i would be negative two i. So we're going to multiply both our numerator and denominator by negative 2i. Now, when you multiply, remember that you're multiplying straight across. So 3 multiplied by negative 2i is negative 6i. And then 2i multiplied by negative 2i is negative 4i squared. Now, to simplify that then, We'll go ahead and simplify i squared. Remember, i squared changes the sign of the number in front of it, so that would change to being a positive 4. And then we just have one last step in order to simplify that, which is to go ahead and simplify negative 6 over 4 to being negative 3 over 2. So for our final answer, we're going to have negative 3 over 2i. Now, if you want to write that is a complex number. Remember, most complex numbers are written as a plus bi. So that would be the same as writing 0 minus 3 over 2 multiplied by i. And either one of those would work as a final answer. All right, let's try that again on number 2. So on number 2, our denominator is 9 plus 4i. The conjugate of our denominator is 9 minus 4i. So remember, conjugate is only just one sign change. Okay, so let's go ahead and multiply both numerator and denominator by 9 minus 4i. So what that looks like, and what I would recommend doing, is putting everything in parentheses. That way you remember to distribute. So for our numerator, we'll take 8 multiplied by 9 is 72. 8 multiplied by negative 4i is negative 32i. And then for our denominator, we'll take 9 multiplied by 9 is 81. 9 multiplied by negative 4i is negative 36i. 4i multiplied by 9 is positive 36i. And 4i multiplied by negative 4i is negative 16i squared. So it's going to look a little bit messy, but there's going to be some nice stuff that's going to happen for us. Um, one thing is that in the middle, negative 36 and 36i is going to add to be 0. Now let's go ahead and, and write down what we've got so far. So in our numerator, 72 minus 32i. For our denominator, we still have the 81. And then remember that i squared is going to change the sign of the number in front of it to being a positive 16. So now let's go ahead and simplify that further. So 81 plus 16 is 97. And then if we want to write this as a complex number as a plus bi, then all we have left to do is separate that into two separate fractions. So 72 over 97 minus 32 over 97 multiplied by i. And 97, I believe, is a prime number, so you shouldn't have to worry about simplifying anything there. Um, however, you need to always kind of make sure that you are checking to see, is it possible to simplify? All right, let's work another example kind of like that, just with a little bit more distributing. So first off, on number 3, let's write out what the conjugate would be. So 3 minus 5i, the conjugate would be 3 plus 5i. And now we'll go ahead and multiply both numerator and denominator by that conjugate. 
begin, I would recommend putting everything into parentheses. That way you remember to distribute. And in this case, there's going to be a lot of distributing that's going to have to take place. All right, let's start with our numerator. So 4 multiplied by 3 is 12. 4 multiplied by 5i is 20i. Then we'll take i multiplied by 3 is 3i. And i multiplied by 5i is a positive 5i squared. Next, we'll do our denominator. So 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. 3 multiplied by 5i is 15i. And then we'll distribute the negative 5i. So that'll become a negative 15i. And then a minus 25i squared. All right. So let's go ahead and simplify our numerator first. Let's combine our like terms. So 20 plus 3 is a positive 23i. And then 5i squared, remember i squared will change that positive 5 to a negative 5. Next, we can go ahead and do our denominator. So remember the middle two terms are going to cancel. So, so far you just have a 9. And remember i squared changes your negative 25 to being a positive 25. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some simplifying. In the numerator, we'll combine the 12 and the minus 5 to be 7. So 7 plus 23i over 9 plus 25 is going to add to be 34. And then one last step to go. Let's write it in a plus bi form. So 7 over 34 plus 23 over 34 multiplied by i. Now, in this case, 34 is not prime. It is 2 and 17 would be the factors. Um, but notice that there are no common factors to divide out. So that would be the simplified form. Let's take a look at a few more examples of this. So number 4, we've got 2 minus i divided by 2 plus i. Let's go ahead and start by writing the conjugate. So for our denominator, that would be 2 minus i. Next, we'll go ahead and multiply both numerator and denominator by that conjugate. And again, I would recommend putting everything in parentheses. That way you remember to distribute everywhere that you need to. So in our numerator, 2 multiplied by 2 is 4, and then a minus 2i. And then distributing the negative i, we're going to end up with another minus 2i and a positive 1i squared. All of that over our denominator, so 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 and then a minus 2i. Then distributing the i, we're going to have plus 2i and a minus 1i squared. So let's go ahead and do some simplifying. Let's start with our numerator. Combining our middle terms, negative 2 and negative 2 is a minus 4i. The plus 1i squared, i squared is going to change that plus 1 to a minus 1. In our denominator, we already know that the middle two terms are going to cancel. And then the i squared is going to change that minus 1 to being a plus 1. So now let's combine our like terms. In our numerator, 4 minus 1 is going to be 3. So we'll have 3 minus 4i over 4 plus 1, which is 5. So now we just have to separate that into the two fractions. So 3 over 5 minus 4 over 5 multiplied by i. All right. The next one should be a little bit easier because notice that in our numerator we just have um, our 5. Uh, and so let's go ahead and first write out our conjugate for this one. Uh, remember that you're only changing one of the signs, so that would be negative 3 plus 9i. All right, so then let's go ahead and multiply both numerator and denominator by that conjugate. So we're going to have 5 over negative 3 minus 9i multiplied by negative 3 plus 9i. And again, I would make sure that everything goes in parentheses. The one thing that doesn't need to go in parentheses, obviously, is the 5, um, which, again, if you wanted to put in parentheses to be careful, uh, you can't. All right, 
So let's go ahead and do our distributing. So 5 multiplied by negative 3 is negative 15. 5 multiplied by 9i is positive 45i. All of that over. We'll distribute in our denominator. Negative 3 multiplied by itself is 9. And then a minus 27i. Then we'll have a plus 27i and a negative 81i squared. Now, let's go ahead and do some simplifying in the numerator. Nothing that we can do there. We'll just copy it down. Denominator, we know that our middle two terms are going to cancel, so we'll cross those off. So, so far, we just have a 9. And then remember, i squared changes that negative 81 to being a plus 81. All right, so let's go ahead and simplify in our denominator there. 9 plus 81 is 90. So then we'll separate those, negative 15 over 90, plus 45 over 90, multiplied by i. Now that's actually not going to be our final answer this time. We haven't had to deal with this yet, but now there's actually going to be some simplifying that we can do. Negative 15 and 90 are both divisible by 15. 15 divided by itself is 1. 90 divided by 15 is 6. Don't forget that it was a negative, so negative 1, 6. 45 and 90 are both divisible by 45. 45 divided by itself is just 1. 90 divided by 45 is 2. And then we'll put i after it. So our simplified answer is going to be negative 1, 6 plus 1 half i. All right. Very last one to take a look at here. Just to give you one last problem to practice, if you feel like you've already got it though, this is really just a little bit of extra repetition. So for our conjugate, remember four plus five i, the conjugate would be four minus five i. So we'll go ahead and multiply both numerator and denominator by that conjugate. And again, make sure that you're putting everything in parentheses, lots of distributing that's gonna happen as we work through this problem. So let's start by distributing the 7. So that's going to be 28 minus 35i. And then distribute the negative i. So that's going to be negative 4i and a positive 5i squared. As for our denominator, let's do the same thing. So distribute the 4 would be 16 minus 20i. Then distribute the 5i. So that would be positive 20i and a negative 25i squared. All right. So let's go ahead and simplify numerator first. Copy down the 28. Combine your like terms. So negative 35 minus 4 is negative 39i. And then i squared is going to change that plus 5 to being a minus 5. All of that over in our denominator. Remember, middle terms are going to cancel, so so far you just have 16. And then i squared is going to change that negative 25 to being a positive 25. All right, so let's combine our like terms. In our numerator, 28 minus 5 is 23 minus the 39i. For denominator, 16 plus 25 is 41. And then all that's left to do is separate those into their fractions. So 23 over 41 minus 39 over 41 multiplied by i. And in this case, 41 is a prime number, so we won't have to worry about simplifying. So one thing to notice, guys, is that when you divide complex numbers, um, you should always get another complex number as your answer. Um, now, a lot of times those are going to be fractions just with the way that you have to divide. But notice that in our final answer, there is never a complex number in our denominator. That's the important thing about division, is making sure that you never have a complex number in your denominator. All right, so next time we'll talk about how you can actually graph complex numbers on the complex plane. And we'll talk about a couple properties of that. Until then, have a great rest of your day.